Okay, I'm gonna show you what some typical um, dry shampoos can do. This is a little science experiment I'm gonna show you. This is a miniature of this one right here. This one is empty, unfortunately, I didn't know. This is what you're putting on your head, okay? Watch out, Kai, go down there. Oh, That's yeah. kinda scary, right? That's like pretty scary, okay. Better option, better option, okay? Flame's still there, okay? No explosion, Mommy, I'm going but the flame is still there. Mom, I'm going to go in the house. Nope. I'm going to go in. Okay, all right, go ahead. Here is ours, okay? <laughs> the flame's out, right? The flame is out, guys. Boop, just blew it out, okay? I'm gonna do it again, so you can see. Okay, here we go. What I used to use. All right, what I use now. And the flame's out. I'm just telling you guys, Here's one. All right, you see this flame? This is the one. All right. You see the flame? This is the one. And it blows it out. Okay, so why does it do that? Why did a big flame come from one of my dry shampoos and not from the other? Hmm, <laughs> okay. This is what I didn't know for years and years and years. Now, this one is the exact same brand as, like I said, this little one. This one was empty. I've been keeping it because, one, this freaks me out that it says this right here. Solvent abuse can kill instantly. All right, we've got a flame. But it's okay because it's Leaping Buddy certified and it's vegan, right? Okay, so these two are the exact same brand. This one is just for brunettes. Brunettes right there is all it says. So... What's the difference? All right, warning, extremely flammable aerosol. Keep away from heat, sparks, open flames, uh, surfaces. No smoking, do not spray on open flame or other ignition sources. Learn, do what I say, not what I do, all right? Um, keep out of reach of children. It may explode, do not puncture, yada, yada, yada. Um, not for intimate hygiene use. Avoid spraying in eyes. If eye contact occurs, wash with warm water. Scalp irritation can occur. Um, just continue. Okay. So I'm going to tell you why. All right. And it's all within the science and the ingredients in these products. Okay. Ingredients. <sighs> okay. All right. So butane. First one. Isobutane. Number two, propane. Mm hmm Okay, this one's not so bad. Um, Oriza sativa starch. So there's rice starch. Okay, so it's a lot better. All right, in that in that uh, that sense. Um, alcohol denatured. That's okay as well. Parfum fragrance. We don't know what's in there. Okay. Um, Calmarin dis, uh, distyl dimonium chlorides and trimonium chloride. Those are going to be like your preservatives, okay? So, butane, butane, isobutane, propane. Those are the first ingredients in here, okay? You saw this one. Didn't blow out the flame. Didn't cause a big explosion, all right? So that's okay, okay, okay. That's better. That's better, right? But it, the first, it's isobutane and propane. So still propane, right? But isobutane first. So that's why we didn't get the big explosion right off the bat. Um, alcohol denatured. Aluminum starch, not rice starch, aluminum starch. You're putting aluminum on your scalp. Okay, anyways. Um, and then there's gonna be um, isopropyl myristate, silica, silica is gonna be like your silicones, um, and fragrance perfume. So that is going to, both of these are going to basically just dry your scalp out. That is what they are made for. That is what they are gonna do. They're gonna put a rice starch or an aluminum starch and a lot of propane and butane on them, okay? Okay, so, so now we're learning that the ingredients in these are not, are not 
not that great. All right. So we are learning. That is proof right there. You just saw what happens when I sprayed that on a tiny little candle. That was a big explosion. And then you saw what happened when I took this one, the champ, dry shampoo, Monet. It blew it out. <sighs> blew it out. It's that gentle. Okay. But why? What's it, what's in it? All right. So we have tetrafluoropropene. Okay. Not propane, not butane, not isobutane, tetrafluoropropene, okay? Alcohol denatured, okay, another one. This is the other one, Oriza sativa starch, rice starch. Like I said, this one has rice starch in it. It's gonna be a little bit better because you're not putting aluminum starch, but it's got butane, isobutane, and propane as its first ingredients, right? Doesn't matter if it gets to that rice starch, it's gonna blow you up first. Okay, so all right, we got that. Um, and then we have, let's see here, um, Quaternium 90, uh, Sepiolite, that's an ingredient, Isopropyl Myristate, Fragrance Perfume. Okay, so all of those things right there. So the perfume we've said on Monate's website, that they go through independent third-party testing, all right? To make sure there's no irritation, there is no um, um, allergic reactions to the like essential oil blend, basically, that they put in their perfume, their fragrance, okay? Go to their website. They like a test. I've said it in all of my videos that I've included fragrance, okay? Um, so I'm not even worried about these things, all right? Um, and then the next, 15 ingredients back here. You can barely see from where my thumb is down to where my finger is, okay? Right here to right, actually right here. Boom. That is all those 15 ingredients. Rejuvenic oil. It is infused with this right here. Rejuvenic oil, okay? So not only is it going to help dry up, that rice starch is going to be a preventative measure that's going to help soak up the oils, right? It's a dry shampoo, but it is a conditioning dry shampoo, okay? So when I said, there's some ingredients that I said just a second ago, they're gonna be conditioning ingredients, okay? They're not gonna be silicones, they're not gonna be anything that just coats the hair and suffocates the scalp. It is literally just an extra little like oomph layer to give you some body, some volume, to dry up some of the oils that are naturally going to occur to to let you like prolong your washing experience and then it's gonna it's going to go in and nourish and add shine these dare you to cake these in your hair and feel like it's shiny afterwards I swear it feels like I've taken like like baby powder I used to take baby powder when I had blonde hair I used to just cake baby powder in there and pat it in right but then it's all dull right I have dry shampoo in my hair right now I already put dry shampoo in my hair this dry shampoo, look at the shine. You can't tell me that it is dull and lifeless and like, you know, cakey looking. Mm -mm, nope, can't do it. Then, after all of those, we're gonna have sunflower seed oil. Um, that one is just gonna be a really good nourishment for your scalp, okay? Because when you add in nourishment to your scalp, it actually will not produce as much oil. When you dry it out with that propane, butane, isobutane, aluminum starch, when it's that dry, it's gonna, it's gonna overproduce oil. It's science. It's just what happens with our body, right? We wanna be in homeostasis. Homeostasis where everything's grooving and chilling, we're at the beach and everything is just waving it nice. That's where we wanna be. This is adding in the things that we need. If we're gonna prolong the washing experience, it is going to, it's gonna give us the extra nourishment that we need, okay? Um, after that, we have um, sunflower oil. Okay, uh, Sertrimonium Chloride Quaternium 90 Montremolionite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, butyl Phenyl Methyl pro uh, Propionol um, Hydroxy Citronellol Limonel Limonine And then Linolul Linolul I know the, the words, the words, the words. Preservatives, okay? We're gonna go in. There's gonna be some citrus in there. Um, vitamin C, I'm gonna add that in. We're gonna have preservatives. Basically, they're gonna be healthy 
naturally derived preservatives, okay? And I'm gonna go over these in another video, but I just wanted to show you before I go through every single ingredient in here and explain scientifically, I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you and just be like, look, mic drop, you saw it. You don't even know, you don't even need for me to really like explain because you saw what blew it up, which one says solvent can, solvent abuse can kill instantly, extremely flammable. But it's, it is, it is Leaping Buddy certified, okay? I mean, yeah, this is flammable aerosol. There is a little thing down here because it's an aerosol can. It says flammable. Did you see what happened when I sprayed it on the flame? Multiple times? Whew, blew it out. I mean, I really, cruelty feet free, vegan, does not contain phthalates, SLS, SLES, or parabens. We say no to toxic ingredients. Rest assured, this is what's going on my scalp. Not this. Not this, not this, and not this. It's gonna be this, y'all. Okay, thanks for watching a little impromptu extra science with Ness this week, and I will see you next time.